Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's been getting some uh, usefulness out of the videos that I've been posting recently. And uh, hopefully today will be uh, another case of the same. I've got a video today that is going to be about doing some unique page rotations within Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I've got a couple different files here. Um, I'm going to start with this one called Pattern. And this is just a simple pattern that I downloaded. It's only a one-page PDF. Uh, but this obviously can apply to a multi-page PDF if you have it. So let's go ahead and let's say that uh, we want to do an, a rotation of this. Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, we just go up to Edit, Rotate Clockwise, and let's just say Clockwise 90 degrees. And you hit OK, and it does your rotation. Simple, right? But what if you want to do like uh, a 45 degree rotation? Well, if you look back here, there is no way to rotate in any other degree besides 90 or 180. However, if you dig into the pre-flight function, you will be able to find a uh, fix-up that will be, be able to achieve this. So if you go into your pre-flight and you select the uh, uh, single fix-ups, uh, I'm going to type in um, rotation or rotate, I'm sorry. And there's a couple in here by default, and there's a couple that I have created here. But uh, these ones here, by default, rotate pages by 180 degrees, 90 clockwise and counterclockwise, and also to rotate the pages landscape if portrait or vice versa. So these are basically essentially similar to what you did going up into the uh, edit rotate pages command. However, this one, if we click on edit, I've done some unique things here to make this do what we want to do. So let's actually, instead of doing this, let's just go ahead and create it from scratch. So let's go to uh, create fix up and uh, I'm going to call it something a little different than that so that we don't accidentally overwrite it. So let's just call rotate by uh, certain degrees. That way it's not named the same. Uh, comment will be uh, rotate page content by a specified degree. Okay, so in the fix up category here, we're going to select pages and then we're going to go down to uh, rotate page content. If we select that, this gives us a list of some different variables that we can apply here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these from static elements to variables. That way, when we go to run this uh, fix up profile, we can go ahead and input the changes that we want to based on uh, whatever we want to do for this PDF. So if you click on the, the little uh, uh, orange triangle here, and we go to new variable, and let's just call this uh, rotate. If I can spell right, rotate by what degree? Okay, and we'll make this default just zero so that we can input our own value. And it gives you a clockwise or counterclockwise, but we want to be able to select that. So we want to go to direction, and we'll leave it on. We'll just leave it on clockwise for now. Hit OK, and we're going to change this to. A variable we'll leave it at zero we'll leave this as a variable at zero and basically what these are going to do is they're going to tell you if you want to not only rotate the um, the page content but you also want to move it to a certain um, position the horizontal horizontal and vertical offset uh, are an option and then I'm going to go here and just say uh, unit and I'm going to change mine to inch but you can leave it on whatever you want and you'll be able to change this later and then relative to and we're going to go my default value I'm going to select center but you can also rotate to other positions like the lower left corner the left center whatever and that basically is just saying where you want to rotate the page content around. So do you want to do it from the center, over here to the left, to the right, top, bottom, whatever. Uh, enlarge page and page boxes accordingly. We're going to change this to a variable and we're just going to call this uh, enlarge page to fit content. 
and we'll leave it at zero and this will basically become a checkbox that we can check on or off and I'll explain a little bit more of that in a second and then apply to we want to change to a variable whoops a variable as well and we're just going to go to uh, apply to which pages and I don't know why it says always but this basically means all pages or even pages or odd pages so we just click OK so we've set up all of our variables here and we click OK again and now we have a uh, pre-flight fix-up profile that we can go ahead and select and so now all of these have changed to drop box or uh, drop down menus or check boxes so basically we're going to go through this and we're going to rotate this uh, 40 let's just do 45 degrees so we want to apply this to all pages and it's only one page uh, document anyway and then we're gonna go clockwise and we're gonna go um, uh, let's leave this unchecked for now I'll show you the difference uh, we're gonna go from the center position and we're gonna rotate it by 45 degrees we're gonna use it inches and we're just gonna leave the horizontal horizontal and off, vertical offset to zero so that way it just rotates from the center position of the page only and that's it so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm going to call this underscore uh, rotated 45 degrees and I'm going to hit save and it's going to run the profile and you can see what it's done is it's rotated the pattern 45 degrees but as you can see here it's cut off on the corners and that is because if we look at our properties here we started with a 20 by 20 size page and it's still 20 by 20 so what if we want to rotate this and have the content um, basically expand out the page dimension well if we go back into our original pattern here and we run the profile again and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing always clockwise 45 degrees we're gonna leave everything else the same except we're gonna check this box this time and so what this is going to do is it's going to enlarge the PDF page document size so that it fits all of this content. So when I hit OK, it's going to prompt me to save. I'm going to go uh, rotated 45 degrees resized. And I'll hit save. And so not only is this going to rotate it, but it also makes sure that all of the content is still here because if I go up to properties, it has now changed the page dimension to accommodate that extra spacing where we have the rotation. So a lot of you might be saying right now, like, okay, that's great, but you know, I can just do this in Illustrator, you know, I can do it in Photoshop, I can drop it into InDesign, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, um, which is correct. I mean, you, you can do a lot of this stuff um, within those programs very easily. However, what if you have let me close those out a document that's 10 pages or 100 pages um, this profile will go ahead and it'll do it for all pages so what I have in front of me is a scan of a form and as you can see as I scroll through all of the pages are skewed just slightly from one another all the odd pages are tilted a little bit to the to the right and all the even pages are tilted a little bit to the left so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up that profile again and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply to let's start with the even or the odd pages and we're gonna go counterclockwise because it's rotated to down to the right and we're not gonna offset it at all and we're, it looks like it's just like maybe one degree off so let's just go one degree I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna call this uh, rotated or how about this I'll call it D skewed that's essentially what we're doing here so I'm gonna hit save and as you can see now it rotated that back at least on the odd pages and so now what we have to do is we come back in here we run the profile again and we're gonna to go to just the even pages 
and we're going to click those excuse me let me go back here so these are rotated or skewed a little bit down to the um, to the left so we're going to go to even pages and we're going to go counterclockwise one degree and same thing we're going to leave everything else the same and we're going to hit OK and we're just going to overwrite the one we just did hit save oh I went the wrong direction so basically I need to go even I need to go counterclockwise and now we'll do it by two degrees and I'm going the wrong way again so <laughs> We need to go clockwise four degrees on even pages. Hey, there we go. All right. So now, anyway, if we look at the rest of our document, everything now is nice and level with one another. So this is great if you have, uh, let's say you go ahead and you do something like this where you scan a document and you've got a whole bunch of pages. You know who knows how many you've done a hundred pages you know a uh, thousand pages and everything is just skewed a little bit to one side or the other you can certainly go open these in Photoshop and go one by one um, but I don't know about you but I really don't want to do that for a thousand pages so this will go ahead and do it for the whole document very quickly uh, so that's kind of the first part of the video now the second part is what if we have a situation where we want to mirror something? Same thing, we can open that in Photoshop or Illustrator and then we basically or place it in InDesign and just mirror the image around. That's relatively easy to do. But what if we have a document, like in this case, that's 68 pages, okay? So I have just a whole bunch of um, logos here. Let's say we're gonna do like a maybe like a DTF print of, of something like this. We're gonna uh, put it on a shirt or whatever, right? So a customer gave you a whole bunch of uh, different logos here that we wanna go ahead and we're gonna do a, a nice little DTF print. Well, we need to do a mirrored image of everything, right? So either you can open these up individually and mirror them one by one, or what we can do is, once again, come back into pre-flight and we're gonna use a profile so we're going to create a fix up once again and we're going to call this uh, mirror page content based on input and we're just going to call it uh, flips page content based on user input okay so if we go into pages and we come here to flip pages, we have a couple different parameters here. We're gonna create variables for each of these. So we're gonna go call this first one flip direction. There, we'll leave it on uh, horizontally by default, but you'll be able to select either horizontal or vertical. And then same thing here, apply to all pages even or odd and we're just going to make this a variable so that we can choose so we just go apply to what pages and we'll leave it on always which means all pages and we're going to hit ok and if i go in here and i search mirror i created one earlier but this is the one we just created so if i click on this and we're going to go let's say we're going to uh, uh so we need to invert uh, horizontally and we're going to do this for every page within the document so it's a 68 page document uh, we don't want just even or odd we're going to do it all pages and horizontally hit ok and then we'll just call this underscore um, flipped horizontally hit save and it's going to run the profile and you can see here all the pages throughout the document have been ro or uh, flipped horizontally. And of course, you could always apply this vertically if you wanted to, but this will apply it to however many pages you may have within a PDF file. In this case, it's 68. So those were a couple different ways to do um, a little bit of uh, unique image rotation within InDesign or within uh, excuse me Adobe Acrobat without having to go into InDesign or Photoshop or Illustrator 
Um, I hope you found this video helpful, just like all the other ones recently. Please leave me a comment down there if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. As always, please like, subscribe, share, all the fun stuff with YouTube. Uh, I appreciate it, all the viewership, and I'll catch you on the next one.